All right, I'm gonna give a super quick tutorial on Snap To It, a new board game. They say it's the board game where strategy meets science, and really a, a fun game to play here. Uh, very straightforward directions that, that come with it. Game overview talks about how to make circuits, actually what a short circuit is. Uh, gives you a very detail of how to set up for your very first game, starting the game, uh, your playing rules, there's special cards, and then also there's different setup for the game. So you can put the light pieces in different areas. It's a lot of fun. So uh, let's set up the board and show you how to play. Okay, so the board is all set up and I'll give you a super quick tutorial on how to play Snap to it. So the object of the game is to connect your light to the battery and be the first one to do that. And if you turn on your light first, you win the game. And this is a card-based game with parts that we snap on the playing grid to make that path between your battery and the light. And the way it works is each player receives three cards to start. And you look at your cards and you map your path between the battery and your light. So let's just say I'm gonna play a two snap part I find a two snap from the pile and I lay that down and I take another card. So I always have three cards in my hand. And then the next player would go. They have a three, a four, and a two. Let's say, ooh, they have a good one for this game. This is a four snap. They would find a four snap piece and this one they could actually connect directly from their light to the battery. So they're halfway there, but just about. And we would go around player three, player four. We would keep doing that and until somebody makes that connection and turns on their light. Let's review the rules for laying snap parts down on the grid. Now the biggest rule for the one snap, two snaps, three snaps, and even the four snaps is it has to be level. You can never have a piece sloping up or down and it needs to be fairly snapped with both of the snaps on. You can never have one sort of hanging off in La La Land like that. It's ought to be on the same level. Now there's one piece that actually can break all of those rules and that is the snap wire piece. This piece can actually span between layers, right? So you could see this is higher than this, but this snap wire can make that connection between levels. And this is the only piece that can actually cut corners as well. So let's just say you wanted to go from here to there, that can cut the diagonal corner where all of the other pieces cannot. So it needs to lay flat on the board or pieces need to lay flat on the same level. And the only piece that can break those two rules is the snap wire piece. Okay, so you can see this game has been being played for a little while, and I'm gonna tell you about the three special cards in the deck. And the very first special card is the wild card. So that means you can pick any piece off the playing grid and use it for yourself. So even if somebody else uh, has a piece, you can take that from someone else and use that so you can get closer to uh, turning on your light first. And then there's also a pick any player on the board to skip a turn. If you would play this one, you would lay that card down, you would pick another card, so you always have three cards in your hand, and then you would make a play for a three snap or, or whatever that uh, you decide to do. And then the last special card is simply the next player skip a turn. So if you play that, you pick another card, so you always have three cards in your hand, and then you would go ahead and make a play if you wanted uh, for yourself there. Now the great thing about Snap To It is you can play offensively and defensively. Playing offensively, primarily offense, is really being concerned about making that connection between your light and the battery so you can turn on the light. Playing defensively, which you really have to play and snap to it, is keeping an eye on other people's circuits to see how close they are to winning. So for example, if I had a two snap piece, I was gonna lay it, I had a two, I can see that this green light is one move away from winning. If they have a two snap, 
they could lay it right there because the two can be on the same level. They can utilize this part of the circuit that the yellow light player actually built and they could potentially win the game. So I might want to make it harder for them. So I could play a two, place a two snap right there. So this and this are now on different levels. And the only part that could win is the snap wire for them. But there's only two of them in the entire game. So pretty rare. And in case they didn't have that, I could play defensively and hopefully get another round for my turn to come all the way around. So here's a game of Snap To It that we've played the entire first round and nobody has won the game. No one has turned on their light. All of the parts are gone and all of the cards have been played. So that's the end of round one and now we start round two. We would shuffle the cards, we would place them down, and then we start playing the quick draw round. So if I was first in this round, I would turn it over and I have a two snap. I can select an available or an accessible two snap from anywhere on the board and use it for myself. So I'm actually gonna take this two snap here because that makes it a little bit harder for green to win and I'm gonna put mine over here. Next turn would be for the yellow light and they have a three snap so they need to find an available three snap piece on the board and they can use it for themselves. And this is actually gonna work out quite well for the yellow player where they can actually place a three snap here and turn on their light and win the game. Round two is a quick draw, no dealing three cards, just turn the, the cards over and pull your accessible part from somewhere on the board and use it for yourself. If that part is not accessible, you would lose your turn and it would go play would go on to the next player. 